Okay, Dave, we're standing by for TV. Turn on. Okay. Put the brush back in its proper place.
Okay, Joe, I've got the drill on the one extra section now. Uh, run through it again, please. So okay, I Dave, uh, we're interested in, uh, you're uh, starting to drill. We've got a lot of power left in the drill. Uh, just uh, run it around several times and uh, don't bear down on it too much. Let's see how free or how freely it moves in uh, the superficial layer there, first of all. Okay. Joe, I, I put very little force on it and it binds up. Uh, Roger, uh, any luck uh, trying to pull it back a bit out of the hole to free it? <laughs> no, it pulls me right on down with it. Okay, Dave, stand by a second. Okay. Uh, Dave, is it possible at all to clear out the flutes on it by lifting up as you turn the power on? I'll try, but it seems to want to pull me with it. <sighs> there, I got it up. Joe, I have the, the flag unpacked here, but not deployed. That's exactly That's right, Jim. We want you now to proceed on out towards Dave and uh, be back with you in a minute. carry the staff and the flag out there, huh? Negative, negative. Leave it near the limb. We'll pick it up okay. a little later when we come back to Falcon. Just leave it there in a convenient place. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was going to be under Station 8 with a flag waving in the background. Okay, Joe, uh, now I've got the drill partially out. Do you want, to try, want me to try to take the, the uh, drill off the uh, probe? Uh, Dave, uh, we wonder if you can just hold it there, begin it running, and ease it back down into the hole, but uh, without a whole lot of force down into the hole. Okay. And just let it run for a while. A lot of power in that battery. I'm not putting any, I'm not putting any force on it. I'm letting it do it its own portion. Okay, let her run. We got a lot of power to burn. <laughs> it's a great massage. Hey, I want to come out and get some of that. Okay, Jim, uh, when you get out to the outset site, once again, being very careful with your dust and particularly the uh, exposed site experiment, uh, we'd like for you to do a photo pan out there and uh, uh, stand by, oh, let's see, stand by. Dave, take a breather there. Yeah, it, it, uh, <laughs> it's tightening up again, Joe, and I'm not putting any force on it at all. It pulls itself down in, and then it starts to bind up. Roger, copy. Dave, Dave I hope we get a chance to pick that rock up before we go back. Which one? Over here. That black glassy one. Oh, is it a nice one? Yeah. Careful. Right on the surface. 
Dave, as you can tell, that drill is going down. We're going to have to about two more minutes and call it quits, probably. But just take a breather there. I think I got through some. It's easier. Roger, Dave, and we're learning things. <laughs> yeah, I guess we are. Let me uh, take a little break here. Roger, I hope we're not going to let the air out. Maybe you could put another section on that. Yes, sir, I could if I can. Uh, let's, let's see if I can get the drill off. With that, no problem. Okay, because it's sitting, uh, the outer edge of the bubble is at the outer edge of the black mark. Okay, copy, thank you. Black circular mark. Thank you. Uh, Jim, you've got your camera hey, there. Uh, you, uh, you might uh, go out and start to, to photograph the heat flow site if, if uh, that looks like a reasonable thing. Okay, Dave didn't get those pictures yesterday, huh? Negative. We need those yet. Okay. And uh, okay. have you taken a photo pan from the outside? On the way. No. I'll okay, we'd like that, please. But I'll probably be running out of film. Okay. Uh, there's still more well, mags under the seat there. Back. If you want to change them out. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, Dave, take heart. You've got just one minute of drilling left. Okay, Joe. Just the, uh, the only things that give out of the hands. Tell you, you know, all this working with the gloves on it uh, after a while. Okay, Joe, this bag ran out. I'm going to go back and change. Okay, Tim. And Dave, we're satisfied with this drill hole. Suggest you stop, pull the drill off, and in place the heat flow probe. Okay, we made a little money, didn't we? And over fifth.
looks like, uh, hmm, I might have a problem. Let's see. Could always pull those out and put four more in. Joe, I don't think I got the probes all the way down. I think that probably one of those cores may have uh, been bent or something. What do you think about that? Stand by. Dave, would it be possible to pull it up a little bit so you can see the top of the probe and then put the rammer jammer right on top of it? That's where I had it, Joe, right on top. The probe went down a couple, two out of the four. Dave, pull the uh, probe out all the way and see if the rammer jammer alone will go in, please. we try it again. Can we copy that? Uh, stand by a minute. And Jim, uh, we've decided it's about time you start on your station eight trench, if you would, please. Thanks a lot. trying to force it. I could I could try and push it with a rammer if you want, but I, I suspect the first thing would be the rammer would collapse. Stand by. Try. Okay, Dave, our reading is uh, using your calibrated arm, put about uh, 15 to 20 pounds of force on it, and we'll be satisfied with whatever we get. Take what we got. It's a good job. Okay, sorry I couldn't get all the way in. Because that's true in very far. Bravo 9. Roger. Could you give us an outside reading? 
Outside reading? What do you mean? Uh, never mind. We got it already off uh, the TV. I just uh, how high the pipe comes up above the surface. We'd like for you to make sure the dirt is solid against the outside of the pipe and then ask you to uh, police the area as best you can uh, of uh, foreign objects. Okay. And uh, as you uh, leave, we want you to make sure the cables the are lined as flatly as possible on the surface. Dave, uh, you'll be interested to know that probe went in as far as it will go. That's as deep as the hole was. Really? You fool me. Roger. And Dave, uh, while you're there at the box, uh, could you check to see if the Boyd bolt cup, the sleeves, have uh, been taken away from the box? Thank you. And Jim, how are you doing? Oh, I picked up a pink rock and a black rock. And they're documented. I'm just resting up for station. Eight. Not a bad idea. There's a boss tells me where to... Tell me where the boss is. Roger, you're lost without the gnomon. And Jim, uh, what are you up to there? Oh, I'm just checking the double station. Roger, the alignment's beautiful. And Joe, if you could... Hey, don't, don't touch it. Hey, the Jim is working perfectly. Okay. I won't touch it, Joe. I swear. Hey, uh... Joe, if Jim took a picture of the heat flow box, uh, the one he took probably isn't representative of the proper alignment, which it now has. I'll come over and take another one. Okay. Come on over. Uh, Jim, just make sure you're well clear of the antenna with your pliss there, old friend. Step on this, I'm trying to get it stretched out flat. 
there. your question, Dave, and uh, stand by and take a breather. We're thinking about it here. Dave, if you just took a sight, I could sure start digging. Dave, uh, why don't you do that? I've been resting. Uh, Dave, uh, we've got some instructions when you're ready. Ready, go. Uh, Raj, uh, get Jim started on the ditching experiment, if you would, please. And uh, then I've got another uh, good one to lay on you here. Don't quite know how to explain it. We'd like for you to try to get the deep core for us with the drill. Oh, well, Joe, you didn't even have to tell me because I... I knew darn well that was coming with the stuff that we must be on top of here. Okay. Roger, look at it like this. Jim's going to be taking it at the same time. Yeah, that's down, yeah. 
Dead right. You remember how to, you know, the rover would normally be, well, we need your, we need the pictures. Yeah, I get it. a couple of comments here and Jim as well. We're going to be departing this site for the closeout in about 30 minutes. So uh, you're looking real good on the time and we'll just pick up whatever we can. Uh, no rush on any of it. Uh, Dave, you'll want to think a minute about where that treadle probably is. Yeah, I think I know where it is, Joe. I've been thinking. Whatever you think's reasonable, Jim. I'm down that far already. Boy, you do fast work. for verbal description and fact. Any sign of layering? No signs of layering. I do find some small fragments, white fragments, black fragments. I just exposed a very small fragment, about three millimeters of a black glass. But the wall that I've got here is only... Uh, no signs of layering at all. Roger. Tell me when you're ready for pictures, Jimmy. I think I'm just about ready, Dave.
As I get down to the 12-inch layer, the surface is much harder, harder to dig through. Copy that, Jim. more of a bl black glass fragment. Much more cohesive down about. make a flat bottom because it's so hard. I can see why Dave had a hard time digging through it, drilling through it now. <laughs> you know, Jim, I got a checklist on the left arm for one thing that's going on now and a checklist on the right arm for something else that's going on. Dave, uh, is that from you? Yes, sir, that's from me, and I'm going to put Foxtrot on the 16. Okay, beautiful. Is this according to Hoyle? Jim, that's a beautiful trench. Let's stop with that one and document it. And we'll want samples from the bottom, please. Shit, I think I hit that rock. I think I hit that rock. Okay, Dave, you wanna... Yeah, I'm coming over right now. Just took the right Dave, turn. you might wanna bring the ESC from uh, under the seat. Jim, uh, Jim, we think uh, you can collect the samples here pretty well. And Dave, uh, in order to get that that uh, drill task accomplished, we're going to have to get you started on that shortly. Okay, Dave. Yeah, I'm 
Okay, I, I, he can't get the SESC very well by himself, I don't think, Joe. It's tough for two of us to get. Okay, when you finish that, uh, press on with the drill. Okay, a little bit. Can you another scoop? While you're looking down in there, how deep do you think it is now? Easy, don't, don't leave the handle on me, I'll drop it, it's too slippery. I need one more, okay? Oh, I'd say it's uh, 14, 16 inches deep, Joe. Extraordinary, thank you. CSC is towed now. Oh, it's in a seat pan right now. We'll get to it later, Joe. No, that's fine. That's a perfect place. Couldn't have suggested any better myself. Good. And DR, as uh, you uh, probably know already, all we, we need from this EVA is really the hole in the ground. The drill will probably give out on us uh, during your rest period. And uh, if need be, we can pull up whatever you get later on. Okay, Joe, fine. You wouldn't want to go on uh, towards the north complex without visiting the outset site again, would you? <laughs> Shoot, no. Never. Okay, Joe, the uh, soil sample from the bottom of the trench is at 252. 252, great. And Dave and Jim, we're coming up on 15 minutes, one five minutes before closeout. Doing our best, Joe. Roger, and you've done yeoman service. I have to get in your way there, old buddy. I'll get out of here. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. I need to use this area. Yeah, I'm gonna 
Egypt sampling the uh, the side. I'm just going to sample the top over here. Okay, Jim, sounds good if you don't see layering. So I can get on with a penetrometer. Okay. Okay, Joe, the top of the trench, 253. Roger, 253. Hey, Jimmy, you're in the way of the camera, old buddy. 253. Am I still on your picture? Yeah, if we're going to use all that film. Uh, i got to get some bags here, man. <sighs> Shoot. That's fine, we can still see. Dave's talking about the other one. Okay, I'm going for the penetrometer. Your camera's in your seat pan if you need it. No, I don't think I'll... I can't take pictures and do penetrometer at the same time. Why not? Sorry about that. Dave, you'll get a warning horn and you'll want to go over to your ox water shirt like this. Just wanted to advise you. Okay, Joe. Thank you. And Dave, you'll want it to, to drop into the ground as uh, slowly as you can easily control. God, I'm sorry. Just in a hurry to get it done, and I just forgot your one inch per second. I'll do that. Some days. <laughs> okay, I got a horn, a tone, and ox water. Dave, go to men cooling, please. Hey, Jim. Jim, would you get my ox water? Yeah. I, uh, I just can't feel it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Okay. It's on. You want me to put you on men cooling? Same time. Uh, it's, no, I got the men cooling part. I just couldn't feel the ox water. Okay. I can get it. I'm right here. No, I, I got the men cooling. Oh, okay. Okay, Joe, I have the half-inch cone installed, and I'm going to, uh, sitting on one, I'm going to index it to two. Okay, Jim. Dave, as, uh, as soon as you get that unstuck, you'll want to back it off one and one-half turns. It'll come loose. I know, Joe. I can't bend over as far as you can in one G. You can watch this on TV. The ground plate, I pull it down. And the spring is too strong, it pulls the ground plate up. Okay, Jim, we watch. No problem. The ground plate's there. Maybe it'll stay there. And I'm no doing problem. the uh, 
one adjacent. I'm doing it adjacent to the trench. Right here. And I'm pushing. I'm bottomed out. Roger. These prints might stay here, Dave, so I can photograph them later. Yeah, yeah where I took it. Okay, that was adjacent to the trench. I'm indexing to three. And I'm going to do the trench bottom. Beautiful. And uh, Dave, you might check your film mag if you're back at the rover now. See if it's run out. And I'm talking about Probably the back. It wouldn't have run out by now, Joe. That's what I'm saying. It wouldn't have run out by now. I just turned it on. 12 frames per second. It looks like it's... Uh, 90% gone. Okay, beautiful. Outstanding. And I need, I need a call when my sublimator gets going, Joe. Okay, I'm in a trench bottom and I'm pushing. And I'm bottomed out. Roger. And Dave, the diverter valve is yours. Thank you. Okay, I'm verify flight clear, floor. please. Yeah, the water flight's clear, Joe. Oh, that feels so good. Okay, I'm going for the rover track. Roger. I'm on the very freshest rover track. In the very freshest. And I'm pushing. Roger. And it's bottomed out. I'm indexing to five. Roger. Dave and Jim, we're coming up on five minutes remaining before closeout. Okay. Okay, adjacent to the rover tracks. Pushing. Roger. I get a chance to collapse my trench, Joe. You got five minutes, Jim. Uh, play it accordingly, and I thought that was my job. <laughs> okay, I'm going for the plate. Roger. Okay, the plate's installed. Roger, Jim. Did I index it after the last one, Joe? Say again? I don't think I indexed it after the last one. Okay, uh, try it again. No problem. We got several fair ones. Index it again. I'm indexing to six. Roger. Indexing to six here for the trench bottom. Okay.
Okay, here goes it's from trench bottom. Roger. Bottom out. Okay. Indexing to seven. Roger. Okay, I'm going to be collapsing the trench sides. I hope. Okay, I'm about four inches out from the side of the trench. And I'm pushing. It's bottomed out. I'm yes. a slight amount of collapse. It won't collapse? I'm continuing to push. Yep, it's just collapsed. Okay. Collapsed. I'll take quick pictures there so you can see the location of all those. Dave, are you working on the last dam there? One fast worker. Okay, Dave, I take a breather, and I've got one last instruction for you here. We're, we're using the drill, we want you to break it loose and then let the drill and stem sit there in the surface, and we'll pull it out later. Okay. Let me finish it off. Leave the drill on the stem, handle away from the sun as long as the uh, loot's full free. Well, as what? Roger, as long as the thread's full, uh, full free from the hole. Okay, Dave, we want the handle away from the sun, and we're ready for you to get back on the rover. Wait a minute, Joe. Not sure I'll ever get it out. But what bothers me, Joe, is a, okay, hand, handle away from the sun. Right here, and that drill ought to probably be good when we come back to it. Jim, uh, we want uh, to end your tasks here. Okay, Jim, we want you on the rover too, please. Let me take a few pictures here and let me walk back. I can get there faster. Get pictures of the uh, drill, will you, Jim? Take go. Hey, just south of the drill. I really need. A, I already did a pan here. Get your trench and get a couple pictures of the drill to show its position. Okay. Okay, Jim, a few pictures and you can walk back and Dave, we want you to start on the rover, please. Yeah, Joe, I'm on the way. Okay. Okay, Dave, I think everything, you're not going to drive too fast, are you? Heck no. Okay, I'll meet you back there. Yeah.